It's very important for us to protect mature trees. Um, coming in as a builder, we want to protect the area as much as possible. If you're doing a construction project, it'll be your responsibility to protect all trees on city property. And if you want to maintain the tree on your own property, it should be protected as well. We always consider trees and in our design, actually, so way before construction starts. Tree protection is the protection of the canopy, the tree trunk, structural roots, and the feeder roots. Good tree protection is knowing what size it is and knowing how far we need to put fencing around. Fencing below ground can be a metal post. Above ground, we want a substantial four by four at each corner. We then put orange fencing around it so it's visible and people are not walking through the area or storing materials within that protection zone. It's going to stay in place and be secure throughout your construction. When you're setting up your construction site, make sure to look up as well as down. You want to protect the canopy. If you find that there are a lot of low-hanging branches, overhanging branches, contact Urban Forestry. We can make arrangements to prune the trees for clearance. During design, we'll come out and mark the trees that we're trying to keep, which is as many as we can. Here we're showing large mature trees, but it's also important for new young trees because unless you give them good soil, they're never going to get to be this nice large tree. Even before you get your development permit, you can contact us to discuss the best access points to your site so we can help you with a plan. Depending on how it is blocking the construction area, we have local arborists that come in and basically do any tree removal or tree trimming for us. And we always try to maintain the integrity of the tree. It's why a lot of people buy their homes in older neighborhoods. They add a great deal of value, both to your property, but also stormwater, wildlife. The benefits are endless. What we have right now are 60, 80 year old neighborhoods. Let's save and preserve what we have for the future to come.